A brigade of Japanese soldiers crouch in the middle of a quiet forest. A director yells action, and a barrage of explosions suddenly emit from the ground. This is just another day on the set of The Last Prince, one of the hundreds of cookie-cutter anti-Japanese World War II television dramas produced in China every year. Most of the set is populated by extras clad in uniforms mimicking those worn by the Japanese Imperial Army during the Second World War. We didn't witness the Japanese army in history. We've only played them in movies. Although we are wearing the Japanese army's uniform and badges, we still can't feel their cruelty or ruthlessness. As the 70th anniversary of the Allies' victory in World War II approaches, countless numbers of dramas like The Last Prince are being produced and broadcast every single day on China's state-run television networks. However, veteran actor Bai Ji Tong remains somewhat weary of the genre. Nowadays, many of these dramas are just fabrications. Some are even fiction-like. I feel there are too many of them. So when the viewers watch them on TV, they'll grow tired of watching them. In 2013, China's television regulator ordered a crackdown on dramas featuring the country's battle with Japan during and before World War II demanding more serious treatment of these events after viewer complaints. The director of the nearly 40-episode show has already produced several anti-Japanese war-era dramas and feels strongly that the criticism from Japanese politicians is unfounded. We are from different countries. I don't care what the Japanese think. I know what I am thinking. You Japanese invaded our country. It is a fact. We defeated you after eight years of resistance or whatever. You went home. This is a fact. Relations between China and Japan have been overshadowed for years by what Beijing calls Japan's refusal to admit wartime atrocities by its soldiers in China between 1937 and 1945.